So in this example, I'm going to show you how to connect a potentiometer to pure data. So what you do is first set up the sketch uh, by creating a serial buffer. So what this does is create a medium where pure data and the Arduino can talk to each other. And so you set that up in the setup function, and now you use the loop function to pull for the potentiometer from an analog pin. And what I mean is I'm just setting up an analog pin, just connect the potentiometer to pin zero, and then what you want to do is print out the information. And what this print LN message does is write the information to the serial buffer with a carriage return. And so now, as you'll be able to see, is when I open up the serial port in pure data, this information for the potentiometer is going to be written here in the patch. Uh, just to preface is how do you do how you do this is by just clicking devices and that will show all the available ports on your computer. I've already done this and figured out that six is the one I need to open. And so what I do is just hit and press number six. And as you can see, it's open. And so now, as you can see in the other video, that as I'm twisting the potentiometer, it's moving the slider in the patch. But let's say if you want to control a piece of audio, what you got to do is, at least in this case, I took an example patch from Johannes Kriedler. Um, hopefully I said his name correctly. Um, and what this does is control the playback position of an audio file. So let me just load up an audio file. And adjust the volume. Definite. Invade areas where nothing's. Definite. Invade areas where nothing's. Definite. Invade areas where nothing's. So how this works is when the potentiometer is printing or writing the data from the pot to the serial buffer, it's then being read by the COM port object right here. At that point, the information is being routed to the select object where 13 is essentially working as a bang and then the rest of the information that is the pod data is being grouped by the ZL object and then converted back from ASCII to an int. And at that point it's a symbol where you then have to convert it using the from symbol object. And as you can see here, this is the information from the potentiometer. And so then at this point how if I wanted to use this with other projects, what you would have to do is either scale the information in the sketch or scale the information in the PD patch. And in this case, I used auto scale to go from negative minus two to two to essentially play with this playback speed from this example patch. And there you go.